How is it going everybody? You're watching the Nobel Tech. So let's say you lost your iPhone or maybe it got stolen. Well, that's definitely your worst nightmare. So today I'm going to show you exactly what you should do. So first, I'm going to show you how you can track your iPhone and potentially find it and get it back. And also, I'm going to show you how you can protect your data so no one will ever have access to your information. All right. So without further ado, let's begin. OK, so let me show you how you can track and find a lost or stolen iPhone. And one thing that's super important is you can do this through another iOS device. So from another iPhone or an iPad, or you can do this using a computer, either a Mac or a PC. So no matter what other device you have laying around, you can use it to actually track your lost or stolen iPhone. One thing that's super important though is if you're using another iPhone to track your lost or stolen iPhone, just make sure that this iPhone that you have is linked to the same Apple ID as your lost one. Okay, that's super important because otherwise, if it's not on the same account, you won't be able to track it. Okay, so first, I'm going to show you how you can do this using an iPhone and after how to do it using a computer. So stick around if you want to do it from a computer. All right, so if you're using an iOS device, all you got to do is open this app, Find My. It comes pre-installed on every single iPhone and iPad, but if for some reason you don't have it, you have deleted it or something like that, you can go ahead to the App Store, look for Find My and download it. It's an Apple application, it's free, so you can go ahead and download it and install it right now, all right? As soon as you open it up, you probably go to the People tab, but that's not the tab you wanna go. The tab we want is Devices, the second tab right here. And as we tap on Devices, as you can see, we'll have a full list of all of the devices connected to your account, connected to your Apple ID. And then from here on, all you gotta do is look and find your lost or stolen iPhone. It will be on this list. So in this example, I'm going to use this iPhone right here, Daniel's iPhone, to represent uh, what I'm going to show you. And then all you got to do is tap on it. And as you can see, there is no current location on this iPhone. And that's because this iPhone is turned off. It's disconnected for a while now, so there's no location. But maybe on yours, if you have just lost it, uh, if you lost it somewhere, nobody found it, it's still on, it still has battery and it's still connected, you'll see right here on where mine is completely gray, you see a current location on the map. So you can easily go ahead, go to this location and pick it up as easy as that. But if you don't see a location like mine is, that's because of, as I said, the iPhone is offline. It's completely disconnected and you can't track it. So if you can't track it, there are two things you can do. So if we scroll down, as you guys can see, we have two options. Option number one is if you lost it, you just lost it, nobody stole it from you, you just lost it somewhere and you still think you can find it. So that's the first option Mark has lost. And we have the second option, which is somebody stole it from you and you're sure you won't get it back. I mean, it was a thief, it stole it from you and you know you won't recover it. So that's the second option right here. So let's go through them. So first option, you lost it, but you still think somebody can find it and somebody can contact you so you can recover it. So that's Mark has lost. All you gotta do is tap on activate. And as you can see, we're going to lost mode. So we're gonna activate lost mode. And when we activate lost mode, a few things will happen. First, you will get a notification when this iPhone is found. So when somebody finds this iPhone uh, and turns it on or plugs it into the charger, once this iPhone is on and connected, you will get a notification. So that's awesome. Two, you gotta keep in mind that every iPhone has activation lock. So regardless of lost mode or anything like that, no one will actually be able to get your information or anything like that because we have activation lock. And the only way that somebody can actually get in your iPhone, enter your iPhone, access your iPhone is if they have your Apple ID and no one has your Apple ID but you, okay? So you can be sure about that. Also, you know that all iPhones can only be accessed, can only be uh, used if somebody knows their passcode. So we are double protected with Apple ID 
and with the passcode. So no one who finds it can actually get our data because of those two protections. On top of that, loss mode will also uh, make your get your iPhone protected. So as you guys can see, it'll delete any and all payment services that you have like Apple Pay or anything like that. And also it'll leave a message in a phone number when somebody actually finds it, all right? So in order to activate, let's continue. And as you guys can see, you gotta continue once again. And then uh, you can put a phone number right here. So if somebody finds it, turns it on, as soon as it's online and connected, they'll get a message with a phone number. So then they can use it to call and contact you. So here you can put, let's say your father's, your mother's, uh, your brother's, uh, wife's, husband's phone number, whatever, put a phone number right here that's available so the person who finds it can contact you, all right? It's optional, of course. You can hit next. Here you can, you can uh, type in a message. So you can say, hey, this is my iPhone. If you find it, please uh, look at me here or there or contact me on Instagram or I'll pay you some money, whatever. Here you can uh, type in a message so then the person can uh, know something about this iPhone, know it's in lost mode, all right? And then hit next and you find it here, a summary. So notify when found, phone number, message, and receive email updates. So all of those updates, anything that happens will be sent to you via email. So activate, wait a second for it to activate, it takes a while. And then as you guys can see, it'll say pending. And this is a little bit important and I have to let you know, and this will only take action, this will only be activated when the iPhone is connected. That's the only way that Find My can actually send the information to your lost or your stolen iPhone. But keep in mind that the protection, the activation lock and the passcode lock, they are already activated, all right? You don't need to have this on in order to be protected by activation lock and the passcode. So even if you don't do anything, your data is already protected by those two safety things, all right? So keep that in mind. The pending that you see right here is only for the extra information. So it's only for the notifications and the messages and the emails, the phone number and everything that I mentioned, all right? But your iPhone is safe always. Now, if your iPhone got stolen and that's option number two, you don't need to bother going with Mark as lost because you'll know that the thief won't give it back to you, right? So all you gotta do is erase this device. So you tap on erase this device, you can continue, and then what this will do is exactly what it says, when this iPhone gets connected, gets online, it'll completely delete itself, delete all of the information and all of the data, and will still have the iCloud, the activation lock. So you go ahead and erase, and then you're gonna type in your Apple ID and then tap on erase, let it load, let it do its thing. And then it's erasing. Let's wait a little bit more. And then, as you can see, Daniel's iPhone erase pending. And then we have this information. We don't have any more information right here. The lost mode information, it's all gone because we asked for it to erase the device, all right? So those are actually the two things you can do when you lose or when your iPhone gets stolen, lost mode and erase mode. But as I said before, and I wanna make it very, very clear, it doesn't matter if the information goes through, if it's pending or not, your information is already saved because of the activation lock and the passcode lock. So don't worry if it's as pending or whatever, your information is already saved. Now, let me show you how you can do the exact same thing that I showed you right here on your computer. Let's go. So on the computer, it's also super easy and you can use either a Mac or a PC. As I mentioned before, the process is exactly the same. All you gotta do is open up your favorite browser and then you're gonna go to iCloud dot com that's it icloud.com if it's the first time that you're opening icloud.com on your browser on your computer it'll ask for your apple id so just type it in your apple id username and password especially if you're doing this uh from somebody else's computer if you've borrowed a computer it'll definitely ask for your apple id so go ahead and make sure to type it in to have access to your information 
Uh, after you do that, after you log in, you'll see your dashboard right here. And all you gotta do is click on Find iPhone. So click here, let it load. Sometimes it'll also ask you for your Apple ID once again. So put in your password and then sign in. Let it sign in and let it locate. And then you'll see a map. But we don't have to worry about the map because what we want is right here at the top, all devices. Just as we saw on the iPhone, all devices. So then we click on all devices and then we have the list of all of our devices connected to our account, just like we saw on the iPhone. And then from here on, you can do the exact same thing. So you can look for your lost or stolen iPhone, click on it, and then from here on, you can do the exact same thing. You can either lock, which is the lost mode that we just saw, and erase, which is the option that we just erase everything if we are sure that somebody actually stole the iPhone from us. So both options as we saw on the iPhone and then from here on, it's exactly the same thing, the exact same options that we saw on the iPhone. All right, so that's it. That's it, guys. So hope you enjoyed this video. I just wanted to show you how to track, find, and protect all of your data from a lost or stolen iPhone. If you enjoyed this video, please make sure to hit the like button down below. On top of that, please make sure to hit the subscribe button and the little bell icon. And last but not least, give me your opinion in the comment box down below. Let me know what you thought about the video, the tutorial, and the channel as a whole. I always do appreciate all your feedback, all right? So that's it, and I'll see you in the next video as usual. Bye-bye.